We are asked to simplify the given expressions. Let's first focus on number one and number two. Notice for number one, the negative eight is not in parentheses. In number two, the negative eight is in parentheses, which means for number one, we can read this as negative or the opposite of positive eight raised to the power of negative two, the base is positive eight. But for number two, because the negative eight is in parentheses, we have the base of negative eight raised to the power of negative two. So for number one, again, we can read this as the opposite of positive eight raised to the power of negative two. And then for number two, we have the base of negative eight raised to the power of negative two. Let's review the negative exponent property shown below. If n is a positive integer and a doesn't equal zero, then a raised to the power of negative n equals one over a raised to the power of positive n. So for number one, to make it even more clear the base is positive eight, we could rewrite this as negative one times eight raised to the power of negative two. Again, because the negative eight is not in parentheses, the exponent of negative two is only attached to the base of positive eight. And now eight raised to the power of negative two is equal to one over eight raised to the power of positive two, which gives us negative one times one over eight raised to the power of positive two, or eight squared. Eight squared is equal to eight times eight, or 64, which gives us negative one times one over 64, which equals negative one sixty-fourth. And now for number two, again, because the negative eight is in parentheses, the base is negative eight. The given expression is equal to one over the base of negative eight raised to the power of positive two, and the square of negative eight is equal to two factors of negative eight, which equals positive 64. The expression simplifies to one over 64, or one sixty-fourth. And now let's take a look at three, four, and five. For number three, we have five y raised to the power of negative one. For number four, we have the base of five y raised to the power of negative one. And then for number five, we have the base of negative five y raised to the power of negative one. Going back over to number three, the exponent of negative one is only attached to the base of y. This is equivalent to five times y raised to the power of negative one. And y raised to the power of negative one is equal to one over y raised to the power of positive one. This gives us five times one over y raised to the power of positive one. When the exponent is positive one though, we can leave it off. This is equivalent to five times one over y of it's helpful, five over one times one over y, which gives us five over y. For number two, because the five y is in parentheses, the base of five y is raised to the power of negative one. Applying the negative exponent property, this is equal to one over the base of five y raised to the first. And because the exponent is one, we can leave it off. This just indicates we have one factor of five y. This simplifies to one over five y. And then for number five, because we have negative five y in parentheses, raised to the power of negative one, here the base is negative five y. Applying the negative exponent property, this is equal to one over the base of negative five y raised to the first. Again, because the exponent of one indicates we have one factor of negative five y, we can leave the exponent of one off. This simplifies to one over negative five y, but we normally don't leave a negative sign in the denominator. It's usually in front of the fraction or in the numerator. Let's rewrite this as negative one over five y. I hope you found this helpful.